Namaskaram Myself Gunjan And I am going to teach you physics for the remaining part Dear Nobody can go back and start a new beginning But anyone can start today and make a new and beautiful ending so from today we together are going to start a fresh new beginning and are going to move on on a learning full journey let's hope that it leads us to a beautiful and worthy ending Therefore wishing each other luck let's begin this journey with chapter number 3 force and pressure The first topic is turning effect of force also known as moment of force Turning effect of force means that effect of force which produces rotation or turning force ka wo asar jo ki kisi body mein rotation produce kare for example if we apply a force on a body which is at rest it's very obvious that the body will start moving in the direction of the force on the other hand if the body is pivoted at a point pivot means the point on which something balances or turns in hindi we call it dhuri kisi bhi cheez ki dhuri ko pivot kaha jata hai if the body is pivoted at a point and is not free to move then if we apply the force then the body will start moving about the pivoted point and will not move forward as was the case earlier so we can conclude that under the action of an external force on a body which is fixed at a point the body starts rotating about the pivoted point in the direction of applied force the force which we had applied here did not move the body forward instead it made the body to rotate about the pivoted point so this effect of force which has made the body to rotate about the pivoted point is known as turning effect of force or moment of force or we can call it torque सो मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स एक फोर्स ही है जो कि किसी भी बॉडी के अंदर टर्निंग पैदा करता है या रोटेशन पैदा करता है दिस टर्निंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स हैज़ गॉट थ्री नेम्स वी कैन कॉल इट इन ई दो वेज फर्स्ट या टर्निंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स बोलो या मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स बोलो या टॉर्क बोलो ऑल द थ्री मीन द सेम दिस मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स depends on two factors first the force applied and second the perpendicular distance from the fixed point to the line of action of force first let us pick the first one the moment of force depends on the force applied 
if we apply more force then more turning effect will be produced for example for example if you open the door with a greater force then more turning effect is produced in the door now let us pick the next factor the moment of force depends on the perpendicular distance from the fixed point to the line of action of force line of action of force means wo line jiske along force act kar rahi hai and the fixed point is the pivot so pivot or line of action of force ke beech ki sabse shortest distance which is the perpendicular distance उस डिस्टेंस पर मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स डिपेंड करता है जितनी ज़्यादा डिस्टेंस होगी उतनी ही ज़्यादा टर्निंग इन प्रोड्यूस होगी टू एक्सप्लेन दिस वी कैन अगेन टेक द सेम एग्जांपल ऑफ ओपनिंग द डोर इफ यू ओपन द डोर विद द हैंडल व्हिच इज़ प्रेजेंट एट द कॉर्नर ऑफ द डोर देन द डोर ओपन वेरी ईजिली विथ मोर टर्निंग वेर एज इफ यू पुश द डोर from the middle then you have to apply a larger force to produce the same amount of turning and third if you happen to open the door by pushing by applying force at the hinges or near the hinges then it's very obvious that you have to apply a very large force to produce the same amount of turning so we can say that the larger the distance from the pivot to the line of action of force the larger will be the moment produced now since we have learned the factors on which this moment of force depends we can now frame the formula for the moment of force so the formula is f into d f is the applied up till now we have learned the theory of the moment of force so now let us see some more practical examples in order to clear our concept about so this generates maximum moment of force that is maximum turning effect is produced by applying a very minimum effort by the person using the cutting machine next example is of the hand flow grinders which we known which are commonly known as chakki the upper circular stone of the grinder is provided with a wooden handle and the handle is fixed at the edge now why at the edge so that there is maximum distance between the handle and the turning point which is at the center so by increasing the distance the moment of force will be increased and it would be easy for us to produce turning with a minimum effort third example third example in the steering wheel of a vehicle the force is applied tangentially tangentially means tangent ke along tangentially to the rim of the steering wheel now why so because by doing so the maximum there will be maximum distance between the point of application of force and the pivoted point so thus it will help in turning the steering wheel with minimum amount of force let us now learn about a new term couple for that let us take a pivoted body which is fixed at a point and let us apply two equal forces remember the forces are equal in magnitude so we apply if we apply two equal forces but in opposite directions then what do you think will happen 
obviously the body will start turning in this example we have applied two equal forces in different directions and what's the result the result is that the body has turned has produced a rotation we can say that these two forces have produced a turning effect so these two equally these two equal forces which are acting in different directions are said to form a couple so we can define it as a pair of equal turning forces acting in different directions is called a couple and the turning moment caused by a couple is called a torque as mentioned earlier torque moment of force and turning effect of force all the three mean the same up till now we have learned the definition of the moment of force the factors on which it depends the formula seen the examples so now let us see the unit in which the moment of force is measured now we know that moment of force equals to f into d so the si unit of force is newton and the si unit of distance is meter therefore the unit the si unit of moment of force is newton meter so that's all for today we will proceed with the legacy of learning in the upcoming videos and continue this chapter further so thank you everyone for being here have a good day